Hey guys, Captain Foley with you. How are you doing today? Um, so as you know, yesterday I spray painted this uh, with the primer coat, and I gotta say, it turned out beautiful. Um, I still haven't done the pearlescent coat yet. Uh, I'm gonna get around to that soon, but I want to get these other pieces painted first. And I had a suggestion on the channel of how to do that. Uh, to take a used toilet paper roll and cut it in half, I assume lengthwise. I'm going to try to figure this out as I go. And then stick these uh, into it. And then I'll be able to support those while I spray paint those. So I'm going to try that right now and I will see how it goes. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. This is beautiful. Look at the size of it. It's like bigger than my head. Anyway, oh, but it looks really good even with that on. I almost don't want to even paint the pearlescent on there because the, the primer white looks so good. But all right, so let's get around to these, shall we? Grab the scissors here. I'm gonna cut these this way. Put little indentations in here. So I got those little indents there. I'm gonna use my exacto knife and cut those out. I don't know if this is how they meant to do it exactly, but this should work pretty well. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes here. So that's the one done. Um, I'm going to put another one right beside it. Okay, so I have those cut out now, like that, and hold on. Okay, so I cut a little semicircle here too, because when you put them in, you want those little net tabs to be in there. They were hitting the edge and they weren't going in, they weren't sitting properly. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side there, cut that out, and uh, put the, both of them on there, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so there we have it guys. That actually worked out pretty well. Um, I'll tell you move it. I'm going to set it on my uh, spray table there, or my spray cardboard, whatever the heck you want to call it. If I did this wrong, I'm going to feel so stupid and sorry guys, I just... You can read the comments on the site yourselves and see what they said. I just assumed that this was the way to do it, and this seems to work out pretty well if they'll stay, just like that. So I'm going to try that with the other one, uh, the other half, to get the other two done, and then I will uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Oh man, lol. <laughs> I should just set them on like this. This would just be easier to put them on like that. I could put all four on one. Um, but we're going to try both methods, see which one works, works, which works best. And uh, we'll see how. Okay, guys, so I'm just spraying both here, and as you can see, it works good on both ways. This way, there's a little less movement, though. Uh, they are a little close together. There we go. When you do them over here, they tend to they move around a bit. Not too bad, though. So each way works. But this way, this way does seem to be a little bit more secure. There you have it. All right, so that worked out fairly well. So I gotta wait for those to dry, and uh, we will go from there. Um, 
it looks like it's going to work out pretty well with that. Uh, so that should be fine. Like I said, I still have to go get more spray paint and finish this bottom half of the saucer. But I got an update from William uh, Gulliver Scale Modeling. I'm going to put a link in their description below if you guys want a lighting kit for yourself. He's uh, documenting the um, build of mine so you can kind of see what it's going to look like before you order it. And since I don't know anything about electronics, he's going to make sure that it's pretty easy plug and play for me. So if you guys, if you need that kind of thing, definitely check him out. A uh, very friendly guy. Definitely worth uh, contacting them if you if you want anything. Plus they do, they offer other services for um, Star Trek model kits and et cetera, et cetera. So check them out for sure. I will put a link to their uh, website in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the new opening on this video. Um, it was my refit opening. I do have, there is another one. It's a very cool one, by the way. And it is on my Star Trek First Contact uh, review that I've uploaded also today. So check that out as well. So please like and subscribe and hope to guys see <laughs> Sorry guys. Hope to see you guys in the future. Uh, I'm going to keep hammering away at this and get this done. But yeah, that toilet paper roll idea worked very well. Thank you guys. Um, plus, you can even use paper towels longer so definitely hold on to those kind of things also styrofoam i found out styrofoam from packaging keep those so that you can put uh little pins in it to hold pieces and that way you can uh, set pieces up to dry instead of leaning them down and having them stick to whatever surface so there's another thing just keep the packaging all the styrofoam packaging from your uh boxes etc so all right guys captain foley saying uh, let's talk to you very soon and i hope you have a great day Bye-bye.